All right, we're back, and we have World, or Level Three of World One, and I'm Ice Mario. So let's let's continue. So yeah, now that we've got most of the uh, formalities out of the way, let's let's just play. Oh yeah, and you can also do that to collect the coins if you want. Oh, oh, I hate these guys. These are the Hammer Brothers. Of course, uh, you don't want to go in there and not be prepared. You can do one of two things. You can avoid them, or you can fight them. But... Ooh. But of course, you can also bump them from underneath. Okay, what's in here? They're here? No. Alright. Oh, what's this? Yoshi! Hey! It's my good friend Yoshi. So, of course, uh, to... Well, of course, to uh, get on him, you just have to jump on him. And while on him, you, if you press the B button or the 1 button, depends, depending on your uh, control scheme, he sticks his tongue out, in which he can eat fruit or eat... Or better yet, he can eat the enemies. So, there you go. Of course, they're worth 200 uh, points a pop, and of course the points really don't mean anything. They, they're just there for, for show. And uh, basically, while Yoshi's in the air, you press and hold the jump button to make him flutter a little bit. But of course, it's only temporary, so uh, make sure uh, he's clear of safety. Like, if he's on the verge of dying, you better make sure that he's that he gets on a flat platform like this. Anyway. Oh yeah, and if you eat uh, five five fruits, I'm trying to pronounce right now. Oh, just a a mushroom. And of course, if you are a level three, if you're powered up to the third level and you get a mushroom, it doesn't really do anything. You just get a thousand points. Oh yeah, and as Yoshi, you can do this. You can eat one of his hammers and spit it out, and you get some coins for it, which I don't really care too much for, but whatever, they're there. And if you eat five, five fruits, you get a power-up, which I got a, uh, a propeller suit. Whoopee! That makes me very happy right now. Okay. Oh yeah, look at this. Secret pipe. Now, of course, some beginners, especially like myself when I first played the game, uh, would have missed that, but... Anyway. And of course, use your use your Yoshi's flutter jump, or if you didn't have a Yoshi, but you have a propeller, so you can do that. Alright, we have two star points, we need one more. Oh, another mushroom. Doesn't do anything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and you can also eat these uh, fireballs, and spit them out, and uh, set your opponents on fire. Which, as cool as it may seem, it might sound cool. Okay. Oh, there you go. You can also eat that too. So yeah, also use your flutter jump to get up there. There you go. Now you have all three coins, now we can leave the level. Come on, get me one. Come on, one more, one more. Oh, you want to escape like that? And of course, Yoshi can't eat it. But you can do that. There you go. Alright. Okay, we're at the end. So, use your Yoshi's flutter jump. And he makes it. There you go. Well, that was pretty simple. Very simple. So yeah, thanks, Yosh. Thank you for everything. So that'll lead to the castle. Uh, however, uh, there is one... Oh, wait, what's this? Mario Mario's! This letter just got dropped up at the castle! 
ordered my minions to stuff every annoying toad they catch into a question mark block? Ha, if you want to save them, come alone. You won't get any help from your friend, Bowser Jr. I'm worried about them! If you find a toad, carry him to the goal! And, wow. So yeah, you can do this, but it really doesn't do anything. Like, it doesn't give you any special endings or whatever, so it's pretty much, like, and if you do decide to go with it, and you do get a reward, but it's very negligible, really, so it it's really doesn't do anything, so... Alright, believe it or not, I'm actually going to go back to world, uh, le or level 3. And stay tuned. Okay, guys, and, uh, once you get to this point, what you do is you jump into this. You would think there's nothing, but there's actually, uh, a lot of coins in here. And a fruit, if, uh, if you are, like, close to 5. But, here's what you do. You flutter jump, and what you do is you're actually on top of that, onto that, uh, platform. There's a platform up there. See? You're on, look at that, you're on top of it. And if you go to the far left without jumping, or far right without jumping, you enter this way. And what you have is, well, by flutter jumping, of course, you have a secret exit. Yes, there are secret exits here. And uh, also notice, uh, if you notice the timer, or actually no, never mind. Forget what I just said on that last part, but yeah, by by uh, completing the level via the secret entry exit, you get access to this cannon, but it will just take you to uh, a distant world. So in this case, just forget about it. Anyways, uh, let me just get one more thing before I stop the video. And ooh, a star, nice, nice. Of course, I would, um, of course, I would save them for, um, um, well, for emergencies of some sort. Mm -hmm. We're both it. Anyways, uh, in the next part, we're gonna tackle this castle. All right, have a nice day, everybody.